Fish heads. Fish heads. This is not regular episode of Catch It, Cook It, and Eat It. I am coming to you live from the Fulton Fish Market in Hunts Point, the Bronx. <laughs> We're walking in. This is really nothing like the uh, the old days here. This is um, all business, strictly business up here. There is really no clowning around. The days of tourists, people coming out of the clubs and talking to the fishermen, you know, the, the fun stuff is over. This is pretty much just where they come to, uh, come to make money. What's your specialty in uh, fish sales? Well, I sell, a, I sell a red snapper. Sea bass, striped bass, shrimp, cod, swordfish, tuna, scallops, chili bass, halibut, the aligners, reds, colbia, skate, monk, west coast oysters, yellowtail snapper, east coast oysters, red snapper, grouper, sell a lot of stuff. Is it all local? No. You see stuff here, they look like uh, out of sci-fi movies. What do you think of the new market as opposed to the, the old market? I think it's much better. Do you miss the old market? Oh, uh, 100%. Yeah. I'd go back tomorrow. In here, it's like prison. You gotta swipe your card to come to jail. This is nothing compared to the old market. There's more atmosphere, more, uh, uh, it's just a, a better time down there. Here, it's like a, you know, like a factory here. It sucks, but it's a lot cleaner. The fish lasts a whole lot longer. We don't get rained on, we don't get snowed on. It's a regulated 40 degrees. Is it the buzz that you miss, or? Yeah, there's, there's no buzz over here. Less clientele, less customer flow. It was just, uh, the other, the city was a magnet. Being out here in the Bronx, we you put like in the middle of nowhere. So you miss the tourism and you miss like the, you know, the action. Yeah, I miss the whole city life. There was always something going on. Over here, it's just like a boring building. The business was much better then too. Now things change drastically. Walk-up business, which is the cash trade, is it definitely, definitely is different than it was in the old market. Everybody made money, man. Everybody over here, it's it's tough. You know, you lost 30 percent of your walk-by business. It's changed for the better, as far as uh, you know, the, the physicality of it. You know, moving the fish and uh, the production of it. You know, uh, years ago down the other market, it was a lot, it was a lot dirtier because we were out in the street. Uh, the fish wasn't kept properly. Uh, you know, the temperatures properly. Oh yeah, it's a lot better and it's easier to work here. Working wise, this is a thousand times better. Ladies don't visit you up here. Oh, down the other place, we had we had everybody visit us down there. We're, we're the only ladies here. Well, you don't look like a lady. <laughs> I brought one like a couple of weeks ago. That was a big mistake. Yes, absolutely. Especially if she was good looking. Then it's then it, then it's a problem. It's like a pack of wolves. Yes, they'll just swarm up. What happens in the fish market stays in the fish market till now. <laughs> it's split down the middle. Some guys will tell you that this is where it's at. The product is clean, it's fresh, it's taken care of, temperature controls, lights, the whole deal. And other guys will tell you they miss they miss the fun of the old spot. How'd you get into this? This was my father's business. He started in 1953. You love it or hate it? I love it. I don't like coming to the Bronx. If we still stood in Manhattan, it would have been better. How'd you get into this? Actually, I was headed to uh, some. I was headed to the stock market. I get off the train at Nassau and Broadway, and I said, "Which way to the market?" They pointed me to the fish market. <laughs> a lot of people think because we work in the fish market that we're bad guys, we're animals, we got hooks, and we're average. We're just like you, family men, wives, kids at home. How come you got this little? Uh, you don't have the big, the big, and I even sissy. <laughs> you guys got the skimpy hook. What's going on here? It's just a picker, it picks. <laughs> I eat really well, I have horrible sleep. I get from two to six hours of sleep a night. We work like animals. Your social life, does that suffer? What's a social life? 
<laughs> what do you do when you go home? Oh, when I go home, I go home, I read my newspaper, smoke a joint, <laughs> and go to sleep. It's a job. It's a job. And we come to work like everybody else and work hard. You you come with a camera and a microphone and and we come with hooks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You work with your mouth. We I work come with hookers. You come with hooks. There's no hookers tonight. What's going on here? This is a good radio show. We can talk about hookers and everything else. When you go into the cafeteria, you don't order fish? Never. I personally don't eat it. No. I had a goldfish when I was about seven years old. This is true. The goldfish died. I come from an Italian background, right? Catholic. So we were eating fish two, three times a week at home. And the, uh, the goldfish died. They flushed it down the toilet. And that Friday we had fish and I wouldn't eat it because I thought that I was going to, you know, they were going to catch my fish and I was going to end up eating my own fish. So I eat fish seven days a week. Seven days. And I'll eat it twice a day when I can. I'll eat it here and I'll go home and I'll make it for my family. Because you love it or because it's good for you? I love it and it is good for you. And I take fish oil pills every day. Every day. Every day. Like half fish at this point. I yeah, probably have gills. Can I try one? Yes, you may. Man, those look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just ate two bucks right there. Mmm. Unbelievable. Some razor clams here. As soon as you touch them, they'll shoot their leg out. These are all live. Everything that you're looking at is live, except for the scallops, because those have been taken out of the shell. Grab me like a pound of these guys. Five. Oh, come on, <laughs> five pound limit, please. If you've got your own seafood, you just bring it over to the cafe. You ask these guys to do it up right. Angelo, I got scallops. You know what to do with these? So 18 years, Angelo's been dealing with these salty fishermen. You gotta perfect their orders, you know? Giving them a hard time until they got it right. You look on the menu here, and this is where the guys all all the purveyors, all the fish salesmen, this is where they come to eat. And you'll notice that there's not even one suggestion of fish on the menu because they're all so sick of the smell of fish <laughs> in the air. It's about the last thing on their minds. Oh yeah, this is my plate. Thanks, Angelo. Thanks a lot. Looks amazing. These things are piping hot and they're, uh, they look incredible. Awesome. Awesome. This is perfection. Yeah. This is tastes this. like pussy. Tastes like pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Signing off with those parting words. <laughs> you heard it here. Catch it, cook it, eat it. It was dark when we got here. It's 